from my journey from almost the beginning of Jane Solomon art, um, I thought I'd give you more of a story about how I got to be at this point. Um, so as you can uh, probably tell from my accent, being an Australian artist was probably not a given from the beginning. Um, so I grew up in a small town in the west country of England. So this is a place called Wiveliscombe. Um, it's a quaint little place, as you can see. It was, um, dates back to the 1100s and um, nestled in the, the hills in the west country there. This is my parents' house here, 450 years old. It's on the market if anyone wants it. If anyone thinks they can sell it, good luck to you. But that's why my parents are living with me at the moment. Uh, so when they emigrated, I knocked up this little painting here, um, which I gave to them as an emigrating present and gave my mum really bad homesickness, which is absolutely great. Um, so this print now is selling in a bookshop run by my best friend in the UK, in the town. So um, yeah, that's gone back over there and everybody I know is now buying it because they know me from when I was a little whippersnapper. Um, the significance of the swimming pool. My parents ran that pool for about uh, 20 years. I started to learn to swim there, train there, became the lifeguard there and taught swimming lessons there. As a result, I went on to be a competitive swimmer, ranked fourth in the country at backstroke for a while. Um, I was one of the top open water swimmers in England for a few years and that's me winning the World Masters Championships at backstroke in 2005. Uh, so, thank you. Um, when I was nine, I told my parents that I was going to swim the English Channel become a paramedic and emigrate to Australia. I managed to do all three by the time I was 30. Obviously, swimming the English Channel was the pinnacle of my swimming career. This is me at uh, being the commander at the schoolist tent, <laughs> which I have been for the last three or four years, probably the pinnacle of my paramedic career. And obviously, emigrating to Australia was the best decision of my life. Um, so I've been a paramedic for 24 years. Obviously, I am very professional, as you can see. Um, I did five years in the UK, um, and then I've done the rest of the time on the Gold Coast. It's a great job. It's led me to uh, see Obama when he came over to the G20. I was one of four paramedics in the room when he did his speech there. I hung out at the Com Games, catching up with all the swimmers, a lot that I knew from England and Australia, um, but just run amok there. Um, I go to nursing homes with another paramedic and do Christmas carols on the violin for the old people. So that's kind of cute. Um, and finally, we get to my family. And um, there's a reason why this is quite late on in the presentation. Um, I took about 37 years to realise I wasn't going to find a partner. Thought I'd cut out the middleman, got a sperm donor, and it took nine, uh, two and a half years and 16 rounds of IVF to produce that little munchkin. So she's now nine. Thank you. <laughs> um, she's now nine. I brought her up by myself for the last eight years. And then in April, these two retrogrades turned up at my house. And I now have a family of four. And I now see why parents with multiple naughty children always have that like rabbit in headlights look. Because I've now got three children that I'm running. <laughs> and <laughs> um, We also have a couple of fur babies. Um, I'm highly allergic to them. Turns out so is my daughter. That was a good decision. And this little bad boy is why we have crickets hopping around the house regularly when they've escaped when I'm trying to feed him. Uh, so how did it all begin, my art? Um, these are actually all paintings of, and things that I've produced much earlier than my Jane Solomon art career. If you look at this, I was doing this when I was at uni, painting brooms to sell. There's Uluru. That's how much I loved it. I was not even been to Australia at that point. I'm painting brooms with it on. That's a fairy princess bed that I did for my daughter. That's a beehive cover. And that's my daughter's bedroom. So I've always done painting, but for myself or just as a little side hobby when I was at university. Um, and then finally, last year of 2022, my daughter and I did eight months traveling around Australia. So we had a fab time. We just hit the road, did homeschooling. Don't do that again. Um, but the rest of the time we had a great time. And then, I managed to produce or oh, get a lot of really beautiful pictures from my trip. I'd go out in the morning, leave her in bed, and I'd head out and get sunset photos and come back an hour and a half later. Um, climbing into lots of crevices and with creepy crawly things. Um, but as a result of my trip, I was traveling around looking for a piece of artwork that really spoke to me that could, I could bring home and remind me of my travels. 
and I never found one that I really liked. So when I came home, I decided to do one myself. And that's when I produced this. So I did this one off of our trip through the Kimberleys. Um, these are the three families. These are the mums of the three families that we travelled with. Here we are, are having a night around the campfire. So I reproduced our trip through the Kimberleys, sent a quick photo to the friends, and they're like, oh, we want a copy of that. Had to do some research. Where do I get art re reproduced? Um, found a place down here in Broad Beach, and they took my um, canvas, reproduced it, beautiful big prints, and I sent them off to my friends, who obviously paid money for them. There's something in this. So I started taking my pictures um, that I'd photographed, and I started putting them into canvases, just for my own pleasure, but sort of within the back of my mind, thinking that something might come of this. This one is the um, Kimberly's picture that I now sell, without obviously the personalised bit. As you can see, this is probably the fifth canvas I did. A bit more refined now, not so clumpy camels. Actually look like proper camels. So I have got better over the last few months. Um, but all of this process has only happened since February. So since February, I've got six canvases now that I are sellable and that I'm sort of working with. Um, and obviously, you can see they're all the inspirations from all my own pictures. Um, and they're all sort of geared up to the area they come from. Um, a few months ago, obviously, I met you guys, and now I and my parents moved. So I've been doing my finances, sorting out my will, getting my face ironed, floating, all the things, <laughs> sorting out my sorting out my insurance policies. Have I done another painting since then? No, I haven't had time. <laughs> so um, at the moment, I am focusing on creating a product. So um, this is the, the sixth one that I did. Um, and I, just to give you an idea of the process of um, what goes into one of these canvases now, five to six hours of just planning, going through photos, deciding how I'm going to lay it all out. 87 hours it took to paint that one. It's about so high. Some of you may have seen it in the flesh. Um, it's quite a good size. Um, and it has to be as it looks. Otherwise, I'm not happy with it. So this turtle here took me about an hour and a half, finished it, went... That does not look right. Another hour, hour and a half later, I finally got the turtle that I'm happy to put on the canvas. So this, don't even talk to me about the Tasmanian devil. I don't know how many times we did that. And then ironically, when we print the prints up, it cuts off this bit and he's not on it. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, a couple of trips to see Tracy to get my thumb strained, treated with her cold therapy. And then 150 bucks to get it photographed to then start reproducing it. So that's what goes into one of the canvases. Um, so then moving on to creating a product, I've obviously gone into the Christmas card line, which I'm trying to flog to you all. They're in the back of my car. You can always ask me for one. Um, Mike very kindly has um, asked for a canvas reproduction. So that's the first canvas reproduction that I've had done. Came out really well, didn't it? Yeah. So I was really pleased with the way it reproduced. The um, printers did a great job. Um, mainly selling the card canvases, which can get um, card prints that can get framed. And then I've got my little notelets, which I've come in with a few times as well. So now I'm starting to get a bit of a package together. It's more, where am I going from here? Um, so, oh, these I did for Marion for her Dragonfly um, charity auction. So we're selling the Christmas cards. I've got a few um, art galleries that I've managed to get um, displays in now. And my main aim is to get some more painting done and get it into the tourism industry. So people who are traveling like myself go, oh my gosh, we've been to all those places. I love that, that will remind me of my trip. They drive down the road from the Kimberleys, get to Uluru and like, oh my gosh, it's that artist again. We'll get another one to go with the one that I've bought in the Kimberleys. That's my long-term goal. Takes a bit of work, because as you can see, I'm not great at the technology. So I've got to <laughs> get myself out there and, and let everybody know what I'm all about. And that's my presentation. Thank you.